Hello and welcome back to Timmy Moon slash Sahara outskirts of Timmy Moon. That's what I'm going to be exploring in today's video outside the town. Some interesting places like in the first video when I visited the village with the mud clay castle overlooking during the sunset which was incredible and we're back in another village today around 15-20 minutes drive outside of Timmy Moon and it's called Faun and you can see here we have the car for the day we're going to be stopping at a bunch of different places have both Hakim and Sufian helping me and first thing we're going to do is head over there for a view another old castle you want to live here yes for relaxing and for remember uh, the old uh, living you can see the dates here through the branches this one you can see them a bit closer i'll move my camera in beautiful a few people living here working on the date farm and producing some other crops i think all these date trees make it look like a sort of paradise in the middle of the desert Entering into the old castle now. You can see here what the rain has done to the remains of the castle. This was used to keep onions and dates cool, hiding them in the sand. When you put something in the sand, it's free of bacteria actually. Whoa. The dark red colors so mesmerizing against the blue sky behind big rocks and boulders bit of vital shade 12 20 pm in the afternoon and as such it's at least 40 degrees now, I'm pretty sure about that. You can see all the rock layers, the different colours which have formed over time. castle there and the caves that we were just in a moment ago amazing it's so hot at the moment 41 42 maybe especially the sand and I've got sandals on too so I'm struggling to walk because the sand burns your feet so much come here a lot earlier than we have done obviously if you're here in September or the summer don't come here at 12 or 1 <laughs> We were so late leaving Timmy Moon today, so I didn't have a choice, but <laughs> I would have loved to have come at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. So I've now made it to the top. You can see the views of the green and desert surrounding. Amazing views. So we've now driven to a different spot, a little bit away from where we were earlier. We picked up some food from a supermarket and we found a little spot in the shade to put everything down and grab some lunch. I just washed my face in this natural water source here. It feels so fresh, so nice. Like I said, extremely hot. The sand burns your feet when you walk in the sun 
but uh, in the shade it's it's beautiful and you can see the date tree surrounding us <clears throat> peace and quiet that's what it's all about so we've just pulled over after having some lunch in the middle of nowhere really you can see all around me the landscape is full of these uh, dark rocks. I feel like I'm in the middle of Mars or something. You can see all around me absolutely nothing but the road. So just a bit further up the road and we're now here at, it's a castle. Again, yes, castle. another castle. Yeah. Take a look. Not red this time though. A dark colour. In the middle of nowhere once again, of course. It's about half past three now so temperature is getting cooler all the time and hopefully we'll catch an amazing sunset later. As you can see here, it's a different type of clay and it's one that's been used with a white cement in between it. That's why the colours are so different here than to where we were earlier. Nice breeze kicking in here. Algerian flag waving up there. And views out into distance leaving one and heading towards another. So many spectacular old buildings and ruins to explore, just littered about across the vast empty landscape. You can see there's more in the distance over here. Even as far as my eye can see, just there as well untouched sand when I think of all the videos that I've made for this YouTube channel this one is right up there with some of the most challenging I've ever shot, including Batad, the rice terraces in the Philippines where I did so much walking in one day. This one, not because of the walking, but surely because of the intensity of the heat and the fact that we've shot throughout the day in 40 plus degrees. Absolutely crazy. I do not suggest you explore parts of the Sahara during the middle of the day. Get up very early, do it during the sunrise, take a break, eat some dates, drink some tea and Algerian coffee in the middle of the hotter hours, and then come back out again for the incredible sunset that you'll find. Unless you're here during the winter, I recommend that you travel to Algeria during say December, January or February you'll have a much more pleasant experience in places like Timmy Moon as they are so breathtaking.
after a long journey through a very dodgy road we've now arrived here in the village of Tala. You can see the car behind me. We're hopefully going to catch the sunset. Lots of kids around. Interested to see a foreigner like me. This village is so quiet. The journey here is probably the sketchiest thing <laughs> up there with the sketchiest things I've been involved in. Lots of sand on the road, we didn't have enough water, I don't even have my power bank with me in case we broke down or whatever, very bumpy and a couple times we had to go off road into the desert to uh, go onto better bits of land so we wouldn't get stuck because we haven't got a 4x4, it's just this small car there. We survived, we didn't get lost or stranded in the desert and we're in a beautiful village and I'm looking forward to exploring it and possibly interacting a little bit with some of the locals. Water source of the village of Tala. Coming here from this direction. Salam alaikum. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to be here in Tala. Sorry, I cannot speak. Some of these villages surrounding Timmy Moon are so quiet and peaceful beautiful greenery they are paradises oasises within the desert you can see the sun reflecting through the palm trees there another old castle here which can be found in the village of Tala beautiful backdrop this is actually a tomb of a man who would have done some good things in the village. Often when you see those white structures like this, it means that um, somebody died. It's dedicated to someone who died doing something good. Followed by the kids. Salam alaikum once again. Whoa. can see where the dates have been saved. Used for the animals though, not for humans. Check it out here, there is a really old mosque. Let's go inside and take a look. Whoa, you can see all the pillars. It's incredible. Oh. They're saying this is 500 years old or so. What I love about all of these villages and all of the old forts and castles, mosques that we visited today is you can literally just stroll around any of them, no entrance fee, it's all there crumbling in front of you. So authentic, this kind of travelling. Some dates just here behind me. We're going to go and catch the sunset now over the sand dunes.
this is here in the middle of the sand. It's actually man-made. It's to stop the sand coming from the desert into the village and destroying all the crops and getting into people's homes. So it's deliberately positioned here to stop the wind blowing the sand over. Pretty much running to try and catch the sunset on the top of this beautiful sand dune behind me. It's literally disappearing moment by moment <laughs> beneath the horizon. Having watched the sunset there right at the end, I'm going to end the video here from the Sahara. It's been a pretty crazy day, possibly the hottest temperature I've ever experienced, hit 43 today. And I was filming right in the middle of it and like I mentioned earlier it was a challenging one but it was so much fun. Timmy Moon is a magical place, there's lots to explore in the town and also outside of it. So stay tuned, more videos coming from Algeria. Follow my Instagram if you're interested to see my stories and posts from the country. And thanks again to Lupine Travel for helping organize my letter of invitation and getting myself a visa to the country. Wouldn't have been able to get here without them. So see you on the next one. Peace.